actually one of my favorite players to watch, so it's going to be a pretty good. Teaser, I know, was playing pretty well earlier, so. Yeah, Teaser, teaser came down to Georgia uh, just maybe a month or two ago for school, and, man, he's been racking up wins ever since. Yeah, I mean, um, when I – I saw him playing earlier. Uh, he looked like he was playing on point. I remember, uh, you know, he really, I think he made waves when he, did he beat Fatality or he yeah, was? Yeah, he, he took a set off yeah, Fatality. Yeah, he took a set off Fatality. He ended up getting the run back later in the tournament, but man, that's like, that's a that's a big mountain to climb this early in your career in Georgia. Yeah. Um, and then Jazo just being, uh, you know, an expert with almost all the fighting game characters. Uh, really good player, and uh, I just watched his set versus uh, Leviathan or Dust. Dust? Yeah, the and it was uh, really good. That's a really hard matchup, so I think Jazo might yeah. be playing pretty well. It should be a pretty good match. I want to see how uh, Jazo handles, uh, you know, a character like Samus who has such good, like, pretty, pretty good zoning, you know, from across the stage, you know, projectiles, something that the fighting game characters usually kind of struggle against. Interesting choice to go Kazuya here. Uh, I know a lot of top pens and top semises think that Ken does like pretty well in the matchup, but uh, I think he maybe he has some experience here that he wants to test out. Yeah, I mean one thing that's really going to help is Kazuya's weight. Uh, that charge shot, while it does a lot of damage, like almost like 30 percent or 31 or something like that, um, he, it shouldn't kill Kazuya for a long time. So that would definitely help. Yeah, one, one thing I feel like you need against a, uh, Samus who's able to play a style like Teaser is, is really good airspeed uh, to make your approaches ambiguous and get her to commit charge shot. Oh my god, oh, whoa! I like that. The left splits kick. Yeah, it is a reflector, and that was smart. He did it right in his face. And I actually like that, because if he runs up on Teaser and does that, then yeah, Teaser can't... Uh, just stuff his approach right with the the charge shot. So. Bro, he's hit him one time and he's at 63. <laughs> that yeah. the multiplier on that reflector is actually insane. Yeah, it's actually kind of crazy, and uh, a lot of times it'll instantly kill. I want to say it's like a 2.2 times uh, multiplier. It's it's like actually so much higher than every other one. Oh, game. I like that. And then he kind of went off stage a little bit to uh, to bait um, teaser into jumping off stage, and then like kind of vertically with punishes with the down air. That was really smart from Jazo, full mix up. Okay, yeah, he does He does a really good job getting off the ledge there. If Samus is putting a bomb while you're already at ledge, you can basically always ledge roll out. Oh, he suicides smart. him. Yeah, that was so a great smart. trade. I know, I see Teaser seems to be a little bit visually uh, irritated by that. We'll see if he can, uh, you know. Oh, he might back. be dead. No, he. Oh, he messed nah. up the conversion a yeah. little bit. Uh, I think Kazu is pretty heavy. I'm not sure if he would have died. He, he can, so like it, it's just a matter of like resetting your up airs on the platform, which he got. Oh, but it's okay. like it's a hard timing thing to get perfectly. Gotcha. Oh, but Teaser, uh, you know, answering back after that uh, suicide kill. Oh no! Don't press a button there, Jazo. You don't have to press a button there. You're not. You're not in danger. You can just wait. And now he loses his. Rage mode. Oh, uh, he almost, tried. He had the right idea. He had the right idea. Teaser had so much control over that whole uh, stock, and now it's even again. Uh, Teaser showing, you know, why he's this far in bracket. The guy just has the incredible clutch. Yeah, he's starting to get back into his comfort zone a little bit. You can definitely tell. I like that too. Uh, uh, Jaza went for the forward smash to armor through the bomb, but then. Uh, he wasn't able to armor through both the moves. He got hit with the uh, charge shot after that. That dash attack was so good because he was so, his shield was so low that it would have shield poked. So he had to roll to the corner and just like completely give up stage control. It's such a hard situation to deal with. That bomb at the ledge is, is so difficult. And Jazz are really having a hard time yeah. finding out a way to get around this. Okay, there you go. There you go. That's how you do it. You wait. You can get hit by the bomb. Then you reset. You get your resources back. You get invincibility back. You just wait. But you see he survived that charge shot. Oh, um, you can't do that, though. You, yeah. can't, you can't re grab if they're ready for it. I mean, that is one thing that, that helps. If you're going to sur survive charge shots at, like, 160 plus, then. So I am interested to see where uh, Jazzo's going to go now. 
Yeah, I I would be a little surprised if we saw the Kazuya stay out. That seemed like a like a good experiment, but I don't know if there's like enough to build off there. Yeah, I mean, um, it wasn't bad. He definitely uh, pulled off some amazing stuff, and he was able to, you know, reflect that charge shot, do like 60% in a single hit. He was able to get that suicide kill. It didn't really seem to matter, though. Yeah. Okay, I actually love the FD pick here, though. Everyone, it, there's like a common sentiment that like every zoner is just untouchable on FD because they'll just go to the corner and camp you, but Caesar does such a good job of utilizing platform to have like a safe place to hang out and charge and anti-air that this makes his life much harder uh, and it also keeps him from being able to land and reset neutral as readily yeah and also i mean like another thing i like that he went ryu though this is interesting well uh, what do you think is the reason he went ryu over ken um ryu actually like his fireball game is deceptively hard to deal with uh, i still think ken is better in the matchup by quite a bit Oh, if he had drifted back on that a little bit, the coming missile would have been perfect. The counter zoning with Ryu, yeah, that is going to be pretty important here. Um, but, you know, Teaser's reaction is just so good. Like, yeah. Jazza's trying to mix up how he uh, approaches Teaser and how he gets in on him, but uh, Teaser just seems to have, like, the right reaction almost every time. Yeah, he, he may, like, use similar setups, like, pretty often, but, man, he is so consistent at those setups that, like, you have to give him a reason to change, and it's very hard to do that. And I also love how Teaser uses that dash attack. Uh, he uses the linger to catch landings, and also uh, just, you know, it, it lingers so long, the, the mid-range distance on it is actually pretty great. So. Yeah, I, I really love that call out on that focus attack landing. That was so good. Right now, Jazzo does have stage control. He needs to do something, you know, keep Samus in this corner. Although she's not the worst at fighting out the corner with some floaty jumps and some great aerial mix-ups. Um, she reverses it on him. Yeah, I... I like... The, oh, oh, yo, that was so good. He was ready. Yeah. Teaser here just looking like, you know, he's able to completely, basically, kite uh, Jazzo. He's not really having to force any interactions. Uh, he just has so many mix-ups. He can jump so high. I love that ledge stall with the with the tether hang. That was so smart. A lot of a lot of players would have uh, not necessarily panicked there, but just sort of like muscle memory to going right back to ledge and gotten down smash for it. And a really a really important interaction I'm seeing too is the charge shot beating out the Hadokens, or at least the light Hadoken. I'm not sure if it's all the versions of it, but it, yeah. if it's charged up enough, it does go right through it. So. So it's a it's a damage threshold with projectiles like that. Uh, to beat a projectile, you got to do more than nine percent more damage than it. He's he's I think he's dead. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. That was just great play overall from Teaser. He seemed like he really knew how to uh, abuse the the lack.